Hey guys, it's called the Corn Star, and yee yee, baby. <laughs> hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming, or just want to watch a 21 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. This is a disclaimer. If you do not have a sense of humor and or enjoy high quality educational entertainment, this video is not for you. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't worry guys, I always keep it family friendly. Oof. Yeah, I definitely forgot to put deodorant on today. Hey guys, before we get started in today's video, I have something to ask from you. We are quickly approaching 10,000 subscribers, and at 10,000 subscribers, I would like to come out with a video with some questions and answers that you guys have. So if you have a question for me, my dad, my brother, or any of the other people on the farm, please write it down below, and then I'll make a video over it. And as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Do it right now while you're thinking about it. All right, all right, good, good job. If you have any other questions or anything, please, down below, because I'm gonna make a video over it. Yeah, and if you wanna see more, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you'll be sending a notification when I upload a new video. All right, that's enough talking for me. Let's get into some farming. Hey everybody, it's Daddy Cornstar. Do you ever have one of them days when things go wrong and when your kids are around or your wife's around, you can blame it on them. Well, I'm gonna show you something that Cole the Corn Star did. He doesn't know this yet. Give me a second. He's at school today, so I really can't blame him, but I'm still gonna uh, fill in a load of corn and look what happened. We, Cole the Corn Star, overfilled the grain cart. And when you overfill the grain cart, you put corn on the ground. <sighs> a lot of you guys have been asking me why we don't run our own semis. I have a pretty easy answer for that. I'm at school all week except the weekends. And my brother's at school as well. So it's just my dad running around the farm right now. So it makes it really difficult for him to get other stuff done if he's stuck in a semi. So that's why we hire out. Dad here has been hauling a lot of corn this week, somewhere close to 20,000 bushels of corn. We got two more truckers coming tonight. We're gonna fill them quick and then we'll fill the carts. And then tomorrow is gonna be just as crazy. We're trying to get as much corn in right now as we can because the weather's supposed to warm up and the roads are going to turn to slop and the semis are not going to be able to get down them easily, if at all. So we're trying to get ahead of that. It is definitely turning into a swamp around here. One of our truckers just called and he said he's not going to come out tonight because the roads are deteriorating really fast. He doesn't want to hit a soft spot and suck his semi into the ditch. So he's going to come out in the morning, hopefully, if the roads freeze overnight, which they should. So I think we're just going to fill the one semi for tonight and call it at that.
nice and cozy. When I got here, a sweatshirt was comfortable, but it's cooling down. A sweatshirt is not comfortable anymore. And I'm wearing my holy jeans. <laughs> we are plugging in the block heaters on the tractors, and we are remembering to turn the juice on this time. Right, Dad? Yes. Sorry, my camera's shaky. I'm cold. Well, my car was clean. We're gonna warm up the two grain cart tractors and the skid loader. We have two trucks coming this morning, so we're gonna load both of them. The carts are empty right now, so we need to load them before the truckers come. We're going to bring one of the four-wheel drive tractors home. That way we can change the oils in it and stuff and make sure that's ready to go for spring work. The Oliver's in the way, but the battery was dead, so we got some jumper cables on it. It's good to go now. Number one. It's only 31 degrees out right now, so the top little bit is frozen, but then it's kind of this much muck underneath, and then it's frozen under that, so just enough to make it messy. And it's supposed to rain today. So we're trying to get this corn in before the rain comes as well. As you can see from my window, it's spitting a little bit. Number two. We moved the real disc forward because there was some corn underneath of it that we wanted to pick up, so we're picking that up real quick. For all you guys who motorcycle out there, you can really relate to this. Once it spits a little bit on the tractors, they just get filthy. I think Dad should have to power wash them. Sounds good to me. Somebody filled the cart a little too full, Dad. Shovel to the rescue. We had a surprise load, number three. Oh no! Where's the duct tape at? Find a crescent wrench, that'll fix it.
we've had a pretty productive morning. We've got three semis full and out of here down to the ethanol plant. And then we got both the carts filled up one more time. So we've loaded about 4,000 bushels of corn and we'll be ready for them to come back in the morning. We don't think they're gonna come back again today because it's raining pretty steadily right now and the temperature is supposed to be about 34 degrees so the roads are gonna just turn to slop. Overnight it's supposed to get to 27 degrees so they should freeze up again and we can load them right away in the morning and they'll be off again. Now if this isn't ingenuity, I don't know what is. <laughs> that also does not look very good. Dad! One of our truckers just pulled back in again. He's gonna take a second load today. So that brings us to load number four for today. Roads seem to be holding up all right yet. So let him haul. Let's go dump on them quick. This is our fourth best trucker. Fourth. <laughs> we only have four truckers. Did it again! Come on, Dad! You're better than that, Dad! Come on! <clears throat> we have a surprise appearance from Cole the Corn Star Cold Climate Clutter Cleaner. These two toolboxes right here are just absolutely ridiculous on the inside. Just look at this drawer, like how cluttered that is. We're gonna go through this entire thing on both of them, so that way they can be nice and organized and clean. I did not have time tonight to finish doing all those toolboxes. I got the bulk of the really messy drawers done, so I'm gonna be continuing on those tomorrow, and yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a night because Dad and I are gonna go get some pizza. That sounds good. All right, see you guys tomorrow. One of our truckers just called. He said he's on his way, so we are gonna start the tractors. We're gonna start the John Deere. And we're gonna start the case. Once we get Ronnie full, then we're gonna load the carts again because we should have another trucker that'll be coming after him. The corn here in the big machine shed is narrowing down very quickly. It'll be nice when this is empty. Several people have been asking why we run two-wheel drive tractors instead of front-wheel assist tractors. And the reason for that is we simply do not have a need for a front-wheel assist tractor right now. For our tillage implements, we have two four-wheel drive tractors that are articulated, and we use that for those. And the reason is we simply don't have a use for a front-wheel assist tractor right now. Both the 4840 and the 7140 are used to pull the grain carts and the 4840 is used to pull our 16 row planter. If we had a 24 row planter, yeah, we'd need a front wheel assist tractor. When it comes to our tillage, we have two four wheel drive tractors and those do the job just fine. So with our current setup, a front wheel assist really wouldn't be beneficial. It would be more of a drain on the pocketbook. You're right. Do you like watching Cola Corn Star? I love Cola Corn Star. He is my favorite. All right, I'm gonna go watch his new video. We'll be back. He is full.
Both of the grain carts are full, so we're gonna go home and eat lunch now and then mess around in the heated shop until the truckers come back. The reason we got two grain carts, the truth is when Cole was little and his brother were little, they would fight who was gonna run the grain cart. And this is when Cole was around seven years old. They would argue who was gonna drive the grain cart following the combine around. So my dad one day says, We'll put a stop to that. We'll go out and buy another grain cart and another tractor. So that's what we did. The only issue was then they argued who was going to drive what tractor. And they got that figured out. But the other reason we did it, when we're out combining, it always keeps the combine moving. Well, one cart's off dumping, the other grain cart's right there beside the combine. Some of our fields, a little longer area to the road. So it just kind of keeps the combine moving, and if one cart would break down, we still have one running. So that's kind of the reason we run two. Come here, Anna. Come here, girl. Hey, Anna. <laughs> Are you tired of watching me fill grain carts yet? I wore a shirt with the decal on the front and my nipples are feeling the pain. Hey guys, welcome to Cole the Cold Climate Clutter Cleaner. Let's go. This is one of our four-wheel drive tractors. It's a Massey Ferguson 4880. We also have a Massey Ferguson 4840, which is the size smaller. We use these tractors for our tillage implement. This one's gonna go on our reel disc, which is a 36-foot reel disc that we use just before we plant the corn to mellow out the ground and make a nice seed bed. We're gonna be replacing this tire. This is the one that's gonna go on it. This week while I'm at school, dad is going to be working on this tractor because a lot of it's a one-man job. This is what he's going to be doing. He's going to change the engine oil. He's going to check all the other fluids to make sure they're up to spec. He's going to check the air pressure in all the tires, all eight of them. He's going to make sure all the lights work. He's going to clean the cab. And he's going to grease the entire machine. Once dad gets done with that, we just need to wait for the snow to melt a little bit so that way we can get the planter out and get the planter tractor on it and get those two things ready. Planting season is gonna be here before we know it so we wanna get everything ready ahead of time that way we're not running around with our head cut off last second. We probably are late the way it is, but we're trying our hardest and we're gonna be ready. Our planter needs to be completely gone through and I have a couple upgrades for it that you guys might really like, but they're a surprise, so just be patient. Knock on wood. But this has never happened before. We had it a weekend with no breakdowns. Are you kidding me? No breakdowns. Wow. This never, seriously, never happens. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I didn't have a ton of variety in clips in this video. What I was doing all weekend was a lot of the same thing. So I tried giving you as much perspective as possible, but there's only so much I can do. Once again, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to ask your question down below because I'm going to be making a question and answers video. And be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification as well. That way you'll be notified when I post a new video. All right, see you next week, guys. If you never want to miss one of my videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Oh yeah, and check out one of these videos.